Dublin, here we come baby. Absolutely buzzing for the horse racing. Flying out bright and early tonight. Hello mate. Hey. <laughs> On the way to the Dublin Racing Festival. Can't wait to see all of these superstars. Gordon versus Willie. Rock and roll baby, the bloggers come in. <laughs> By this stage, potentially, maybe, who knows, but let's just run the case scenario. Maybe Get A Birds won the Supreme, maybe. Maybe Footpads won the Arkle, and maybe Bouvardaires won the Champion Hurdle. All of those Ackers are all going on to Apple's Jade. Punters are sitting at home with their fingers crossed, praying to the Almighty above. It's going to be some day. Um, today's the 2nd of March. I'm doing this preview for the OLBG Mayor's Hurdle. It's a grade one, ran over two mile four furlongs. They're going to be jumping 10 hurdles, 67 grand to the prize money. And at this stage, we've got my girl running, Apple's Jade. What can I say about her that you don't already know? She's as tough as old boots. Let's go through the betting here. Apple's Jade, six to four on. Benny Desdu for Willie Mullins, eight to one. Willie again, let's dance, eight. Vroom Vroom Mag, nines. La Bagora isn't going to run. Cave Grace, twenties. Vadana Blue isn't going to run, twenties. Augusta Kate again for Willie's, twenties. Jazz Girl, twenty fives. I'm not even going to talk about the rest because quite frankly, not many of these horses are in the class of Apple's Jade. Let's kick off with Apple's. She really is a phenomenal six-year-old mare for Gordon Elliott. Ever since she arrived on the Irish scene, everything she's done has been top draw. You know, she went on to finish second in the triumph, which is really difficult for mares to do on good ground. Battered Ivan Gorbachev over at Aintree after that. And Let's Dance won two grade ones back to back. On her return that year, she was second to Rashan, second to Irving at Newcastle. That was a grade one. Then beat Vroom Vroom Mag. Over two and a half miles. That was in the Hatton's Grace. She was only a four-year-old that, that day. It was a hell of a performance and it signalled that not only has she trained on, she was improving. Went on to finish second to Limini. Quite surprised she got beat that day. But uh, back at Cheltenham, remember the race. It was a, a Willie Mullins, Gordon Elliott battle coming down to the last. She had Limini and Vroom Vroom Mag and Apples Jade bang in the middle of the two of them. And she pulled away on the run-in to win really, really well under Brian Cooper. I was pretty happy that day as I backed her myself. Um, she went on to win at Punchestown again after that, over two and a half miles, absolutely blitzing her. Couldn't believe she was even money that day, winning back-to-back -back grade ones yet again. This year, she's been even better in my opinion. She beat Jair's girl on a comeback at Navin. Went to Ferry House, battled the late Nichols Canyon, and then beat Super Sunday, who beat Forheen over three miles. So she's proved she stays three miles. We know she's got speed over two, but two and a half miles for me is her ideal trip. And taking on the mares, quite simply, in my opinion, Apple's Jade is a horse racing certainty. She's ran to a mark of 160, which is bloody high for a mare. There's nothing in this race who comes into the race in the form like she does. She's going to take all the stopping in the world. I fully expect to see Apple's Jade in the winner's enclosure at 10 past four, winning back-to-back -back mares hurdle races. Let me know what you think down below. Is Apple's back a lay or a back for me? Oh, big red juicy apples, baby. She's going to piss up. Now, at this stage, the second favourite position is up for grabs. The market doesn't really know what it's doing. This horse from Willie's Benny Desdu who ran over fences last time, is available at 8 to 1. Some places it's 4 to 1. Let's Dance is at 8. Very disappointing last time out, it must be said. And Vroom Vroom Mag's apparently on the comeback trial at 9 to 1. Um, where do you start with all of those horses? Let's start with Benny Desu, a French recruit, a seven year old. Has had three runs um, so far for Willie, winning at Limerick, Carlisle, and Nace. Winning very easily on all three occasions, it must be said. But uh, she's done nothing over hurdles. She has to prove she's truly top class. All of her form is on very soft and heavy going at the price. Benny Dezu, a top price 8-1, to one, would not be for me at all. I think they're merely running her in the race to try and take on Apple's Jade. And there's nowhere else to go with her. 
Vroom Vroom Mag, obviously, she's nine years old now. She's been around for a long, long time. She's had some almighty battles with Apple Jay, notably coming off second best on their last two clashes. And I just think, you know, we haven't seen her for 320 days. That's a big negative, in my opinion. I couldn't be having her at this stage. Top price, 9 to 1, Vroom Vroom Mag. Not 100% to make the race at this stage. It is the 2nd of March. Vroom Vroom Mag is a top class horse, and if she does make the race, I don't think she'll be going off at 9 to 1. And then we've got Let's Dance, again for Willie Mullins, who's chucking the kitchen sink at this. Very disappointing last time behind presenting Percy. That was in the Galmore. It was at Gorham Park. It was a grade 2. I was surprised they stepped her up to 3 miles that day on heavy ground. Didn't appear to be my cup of tea. The punters thought it was. They backed her in. I laid her that day and backed presenting Percy. So I got that spot on. She's only rated 145. I don't think she's anywhere near the class of Apple's Jays whatsoever. Let me be very, very frank about that. Um, I think this race is at the mercy of Apple's Jade. And as such, I'm struggling to see an each way bet or a kind of, you know, a lay against Apple's Jade. But what I will say is Apple's Jade and Bouvardere on day one of the Cheltenham Festival are the two biggest certainties I've seen in a long, long time. And you can all quote me on that. Right, quite simply, the nap. Sessa said it already, spelt it out. Apple's Jade, she's an absolute stone cold certainty for me. The lay is going to be this Benny Dezu ranging from four to one to eight to one. Don't really see why she's second to favour. Has no form over hurdles. All her forms on heavy ground. It might be good soft at Cheltenham. Going back from the fences to the hurdles. Benny D'Souza a lay for me. I think the sneaky each way here, if she turns up, if she turns up, is Jair's girl at 25 to 1. Jair's girl was travelling very well in this race. When she fell behind Apple's Jade last year, she fell three out. She was going really decently. This year, you know, she was second to Apple's Jade over at Navan in the Liz Mullen hurdle. Only beaten two lengths that year, that day. Admittedly, Apple's gave her seven pounds. She went on to finish second behind Le Bagoro. We all know Le Bagoro has improved considerably. So I think that form all stacks up. Jair's girl will come here, fresh horse, if she makes it. And I think the 25 to 1 holds some each way appeal. Back, Apple's Jade, lay Benny the Zoo, and the each way could be, could be, if she lines up, Jair's girl at 25 to 1. Let me know your opinions down below. Big red juicy apples. Let's get those filthy ackers home. I want foot pad. I want Bouvardere, and I want Apple's Jade. I want Get A Bird Beat. I want my treble up. Where's your Ackers going? Where's your money going? Cheltenham, let's be having you. Stephen, S. Bordalen, back or lay? Lay. Sam Crow, back or lay? Back. Sutton Place, back or lay? Lay. R. Duke, back or lay? Lay. Oh, 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 he's flooring it, lads. He's flooring the Lulu line. <laughs> oh, his hand's getting itchy. Oh, oh. He's not pushing anymore. We're down there so they can't. Cruising. Oh, brakes on, brakes on, brakes on. Oh, oh, oh. Aye, aye. 